This save. This save. <laughs> Morning, afternoon, evening. How's it going, everyone? It's Messina time again. We have completed season five. Is it five? Four? Five? Five? And how did we do? We've been stuck in Serie B for so long, haven't we? Last season's tactic of three at the back didn't work, so we changed it up to this one. Bit harsh on the three at the back tactic there, saying it didn't work. It got us our best league finish, and we just failed at the playoffs, like we keep doing. But I've switched it up. I wanted to keep things fresh. I felt near the back of last season that some teams were starting to guess what we were doing. So keeping the free at the back in our back pocket, I flipped it to the no attack needed formation and tactic, which we did a video on just recently. It was an experiment, but turned into a booming tactic for Inter Milan. So I thought, why not? I'm in Italy. Granted, Messina aren't exactly Inter, but let's give it a shot. It's built around fluid football. Look, we've got a false nine who drops off here. We've got a target forward who drops in there. We've got two wingers coming forward, but not too much. They're only supporting a box-to-box -box midfielder, charging on, and two inverted wingbacks getting in the gaps. I had the players for it. I went into the transfer market in pre-season to get some extra bodies. And not surprisingly, we spent a whopping zero. We did bring in 180,000. Then followers of this save will know that our financial situation is absolutely dreadful. So that really helped that little sum of money there keeping us above water now the players we brought in that were great success was john yaboa there he is came in from german football thanks to the scouting network a bit of money ball activities going on there really good dribbler agility pace flair he was a key man and did decently because he's got nine goals in 44 games so he was a real success this was the big one Dorasso class coming in at half back big mountain of a man in from Dutch football. We've got good links with Dutch football with the scouting network. He slotted into the halfback role and had a good season of 37 appearances. The final successful one was this man, Kai Manny van Gonter. Rolls off the tongue on loan from Utrecht. I've actually got him again for next season. 50 games he's played for us so far. He came in on loan. The others there, you can see them dotted around. Less successful, really. More squad players, but we have the smallest squad in the league, so I needed to bulk it up. So how did the no attack needed tactic do for the season? You know, we played really well. There's some really good stuff going on. And there we are streaming away. And look, I've got no hat on. So I do have hair underneath this little magical device. Playing really well. The chat was bouncing. They were enjoying the football we were playing. Obviously, the odd bit of abuse here and there. There's a goal, a goal from Big Chris. Still banging him in. So it was going really well. Now, schedule wise, like we invariably do, we started the season off absolutely superbly. We lost in the Coppa Italia first round. We always do that as well to a higher opposition. But then we got it, got our act together. A nice win against Perugia. We lost against Venezia, who were the title favourites. No biggie there. Game started to come in there. We, did, we lost against Frosnio, but other than that, we had one defeat there all the way up until Christmas. Wow. Then we had a little bad period. You can see there. That was a stream. We did a stream. Five games, no wins. Hate in life. Came back got it going on we got it going on again which led us to finish in our best league position yet for mighty messina there you see it we finished third place now that looks really good in essence it looks really good but there's the giveaway bologna get promoted we do not what happens well we could have got we could have got that top two place but ascoli beat us near the end ruining our chances we went to the playoffs First up against Pisa, who were all the way down in seventh. We should have obliterated them. We were confident. We beat them 4-0 in the season. And this happened. So we drew Pisa away first. It was a two-legged affair. Pisa went 1-0 up pretty fast. One shot, one goal kind of action. And then, I mean, I'd like to say the chat there down the side were behind us. But they seemed to be worryingly enjoying our plight. The second goal goes in there. There's only 20 minutes gone. The game ended... Into the second half, the 3-0 up now, it's 48 minutes gone, we're, we're trying to get a goal back, what happens? Pisa come down the other end, we give away a penalty. Ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't happy, Jose wasn't happy, it ended up 4-0. We lose the first leg 4-0, the second leg we came back and with a 2-1 win, but it wasn't enough, and we're, yet again, we fail in the playoffs in Serie B. Best finish yet, third, so nothing too much to worry about, but so frustrating. So what's next? Now, really, I probably should stick with that tactic because we were finished third, we were good, but I've got itchy feet. I like to change things up. I started to think that some of these Serie B teams were starting to guess us. So we're going to keep no attack needed in our back pocket as formation two for next season. And for season number six, our fifth 
in Serie B. It seems a long time ago that we won Serie C. We're going to go for a new tactic and it's going to be a 4-3-3. We're going to base it around a 4-3-3. We've started it this week over on Twitch. If you want to come and join us, that would be great to see you over there. We're going to go for it. It's season six. Can we do it this time? The transfer budget says no. But we'll give it our best shot. 